What is up, T-Gang? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we're not doing a little formal vanity setup type thing. This is more of a casual, laid-back vlog because it did snow today, so I'm snowed in and couldn't go to work. And I've been productive. I've done laundry, cleaned my room, put things away that need to be put away, and I thought to go through my hair products because it is 2021 and I can barely open the drawers for my hair products. And I was like, why don't I do like a vlog type style and bring y'all along? So, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm working with and the setup visually so that you guys can understand what I'm talking about because it's just a mess. It's a hot mess. So, I'm going to just show y'all that. Okay. Alright, y'all. So, this is what I'm working with. As you can see, I have a bunch of drawers with products. This drawer is hanging by a thread because I have too much in it. And then under my cabinet, which this will be a whole separate video organization, I have some hair products in here that just didn't fit. And yeah, it's just a mess. So the first step is to organize my hair products. And then I'm going to do a separate video of under my um, cabinet. But as you can see, like it's so full, I can barely open it. And when I open one, it opens another. So I just want to organize and make it easier for myself. And then over here on my vanity, I have more products. So it's just time for some organization and yeah, that's what I'm going to get into. So my plan is to take all of this out of my room or out of my bathroom and put it in my room so I can just have more space to work with and then we're just going to organize and go from there. So I brought it out of my room and I have a bunch of open floor. I moved my carpet. So I think I'm just going to, I got this out of my shower. I'm just going to take everything out and just start because like my closet declutter video which i'll link if you guys like these type of style videos i think starting from scratch is just the easiest thing and it'll just be easier for me so i'm gonna start there apollo came and ran in my arms because he's spoiled rotten what was he hi hey hi oh hi he's still so little like, I think he's going to be really little. Like, stay small. I'm just going to get into removing all of this. Alright, so I just wanted to show you guys how much oil is in the bottom of this and how much this was needed. That's not dirt or anything. It's just the um, material from one of my leave-ins this as I am one like it just peeled off because that's an old bottle but the ones that I put up here need to be wiped down because they're lathered in oil and then the rest I just put here and this drawer I wanted to be my leave-ins and oils and that's what these are but from seeing how all these oils filled out I'm thinking that maybe I should put them in like a ziploc bag while they're in here that way this won't happen again literally a whole label came off because it was soaked in oil and I'm just upset to see that this much oil went to waste. So, I'm not going to do this again. I have all of these products and then this is like my miscellaneous like hair scarves, bobby pins, mirror, scrunchies, yeah, all that. It's literally taking up my whole carpet area. So, I think what I'm going to do is just take out the containers so that will be easier for me to organize and organize them into categories. So I'm just going to start off by taking out this first one and just clean it out. Okay, so for the third drawer down, the way I had it last time is I had my gels in it, my edge brush, my brush, uh, all of those types of things. But where it got kind of like disorganized is I tried to put my masks in there too because I didn't have a designated drawer for my hair mask. So I think I'd like to keep it that way, but I don't know because last time it got full and I couldn't really open it. So we're going to see what I can do. Okay, so I have my box here and I think I do definitely want to put my edge controls because I like them to be in reach, but they're not like priority. So I think the third drawer down is good. So I have my shine and jam. I'm gonna put it towards the front. This is where like the um, thing is to pull it out so that way it's easier for me. My edge booster. And don't come for me, but uh, I literally have three of the Blueberry Bliss, Bliss um, edge controls. So 
definitely gonna put those in there. And then I have Eco that'll go. I have my Wetline Extreme Gel that can go here. And then, like I was saying, I like to keep my brushes in there too because if nine times out of ten, if I'm using gel, I'm gonna be using a wave brush. So that can go. And then I have my edge control brushes that I like to keep in there with it. Sometimes I use a toothbrush. So I think that's all for the edge control. And now since I have a lot of space, I'm gonna put my hair mask. So the ones that I had were my Aztec clay mask, my TGIN hair mask, and then I put this overnight conditioner in there too because it's not like a product that I can use every day. It's kind of like a hair mask where you have to rinse it out. I have this Emerge Back to Life hair mask. And then this As I Am hair mask. I always collect samples of hair masks when they have them at like stores like Walmart or Target. Because if I like it, then I'm going to get the bigger one. So I haven't used this one yet, but I'm going to put it in here like on the side. And yeah, I think that's it for this one. I'm just going to move it to the side. Okay, so this was my second drawer. This is the front of it right here. And this one, I think I want to put my creams the way I had it before. I just need to make sure that the ones that I normally use go in the front. And I need to see if I want to throw any out because there were a bunch that I did not use. So this Cream of Nature, I really like this one, so that's going to go up there. Camille Rose, yes. This can too. Literally, it has this much left. I think I'm just going to give this to Jerry to play around with in his curls, so that's going to go to the side. I have this Curl Smooth Pudding from this brand that I haven't heard of or used when my aunt gave it to me, but I haven't used it and I don't want to, you know, waste it, so I think I'm just going to give this to my Aunt Faye. She likes experimenting with new products. Definitely keeping this Pillow Soft Curls. Okay, so like I was telling you guys how I had the two Blueberry Rose Edge Controls, I have two of their curl control jellies definitely keeping these because not only are they expensive but they really lay my hair down like when i want to do two braids and stuff like that so i have this miel twisting souffle so that's gonna definitely go towards the front because i use that i also have their curling custard so definitely want that up front and then this emerge my everything buttercream that can go towards the back because it's not like a priority type cream. Then I have this Talia Wajid Curl Cream. Love this stuff. So that's going to go up front. Then I have Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shea Moisture uh, Styling Lotion. So that can go in there. I have this Carol's Daughter Moisturize Butter. So this stuff is really good. And as you can see, I have a lot. So I'm going to put this towards the front. I have this olive oil moisturizing lotion. This used to be the OG back in the day, like my freshman year in college when I had super bad heat damage. All I had, I put on my hair was this, and my hair came out so defined. So I love that stuff. That's my like third bottle of it. Okay, I have this Curls Whipped Curl Cream, so that's going to go in here. And it's honestly so nice because I do the lock method, so I just open my a leave-in and oil drawer and then open this one and I'm good to go. This Curl Smith Curl Defining Souffle. I don't use this but I want to because Curl Smith is on the come up if y'all don't know. Okay this is activator gel. I used to use this when I did not know what to do with my natural hair and I don't know if y'all are hip to this but it's like a really jelly like consistency. I don't use that so that's gonna go in the don't need pile oh i have this uh paul mitchell foaming pomade i actually really like this stuff i just don't do wash and goes enough so um or actually i haven't done a wash and go at all since i've been like fully natural okay so that's it for the creams i think they're pretty well organized nothing's like too high up well this could go lower all right it's lower so when i open it it won't you know get tagged and mess up so that's good so we could put this one to the side this is the one that's at the very bottom so the things that I just use on special occasions or when I need to do something different to my hair or like trim it I want in this drawer so I'm gonna put my shears in here all of my like brushes that I use on my hair is straight which will be soon because my birthday is coming up um, I want in here my rat tail combs that I use just like my trim and then all of my extra like scarves bandanas bonnets like the, this is my big bonnet that I wear when I have braids 
um, do rag, scarf. My big thing is scrunchies. And I'm gonna put my shower caps in here. They were in a different drawer last time, but I think it'll be perfect for this one. My Revlon Air, since I occasionally use this, I have in this drawer. My Denman brush, my hair wrap. I'm gonna put my flexi rods in here. Cause before I think I had shampoo and conditioners in here and that just didn't seem to really work well. But okay. I don't want it to be filled up too much. So I think this is good for this one. This is at the very bottom. Things that I don't use much, so. And I have two more that I can fill up. Okay, so this is my very first drawer. So I'm gonna put the leave-in and oils. Um, but I'm gonna do leave-ins first, because like I said, I wanna put oils in bags. So um, this is pretty much the pile that we're working with. And majority of it is leave-in, shampoo, and conditioner, and oils. Love, love, love this stuff. I can't even keep count of how many bottles I've had. It's just amazing. Okay, so now onto the oils. I'm just gonna wipe them all down and go through which ones I don't use. Like this hair treatment oil my mom gave me, I don't use this because it says it has keratin, and it just seems like it's so thick, and I don't know if it's for when you yeah for straightened permed or color treated hair i don't have a perm my hair is not colored and i barely straighten it so and because it's so thick i don't use what my hair is straightened so i'm not gonna keep this this is practically empty and this is probably what was spilled everywhere because it's nothing in it so this is trash this can stay out because this is like a hair perfume for when my hair is straight like i don't know if you guys know when you work out or sometimes your hair can have that burnt smell so i just spray this and it's kind of like a perfume for your hair oh didn't see this this is a edge stick so I'm gonna put this in my edge drawer this is empty too probably spilled out bummed about that have some old-school grease so I'm gonna put that in here and then I have some jojoba oil and ukubu butter odor neutralizing mist for cornrows box braids weaves and extensions so this can go in this drawer too with my hair perfume and as you can see I love love and I've said this before the miel rosemary and scalp strengthening oil but I have two and this one has like a little so I'm just gonna put this on my hair today to finish it and just keep this one okay so these are all the oils that I'm going to put in here and I just came up with an idea that I'm just gonna use one of these like plastic deep conditioning caps and wrap them in because they're probably some of them are tall and probably won't fit in like a small ziploc bag so these ones that I don't really use, I'm gonna put in first, like that, and then, well this can go in there too, cause I don't know where the cap to it went. But the ones that I use on a daily basis are like this one, um, this for sure, I have to get some more of this, cause I really like the applicator. And then this, I can just have stand up, so it'll be good. My Jamaican black castor oil, and then the Jamaican black castor oil pomade, I really like this, that can stand up. So yeah, I think this will be way better. It's like protected and inside of here. And then these I use on a daily basis so I would see if they spilled. So this drawer is done. And the last one I decided I'm going to put my shampoo and conditioner mixed with my deep conditioning caps and stuff like that. Because if I'm shampooing and conditioning, I'm more like more than likely deep conditioning after. So this suave shampoo and conditioner, I used to use it religiously, but I don't anymore. But I like to keep this for when my boyfriend comes over or guests because his, his hair can literally take anything. And then I have this Carol's Daughter hair milk, but I have two of them. Shout out to my friend Tamia for getting me some Carol's Daughter. And then I have this As I Am conditioner. And then I'm gonna put my deep conditioning towel, my shower cap. I have so many plastic caps. Like you guys saw that I had that other one but i have all of these and i have a brand new pack under my cabinet which i might put in here actually now that i have space and then i also like for my clips to be in there so those can go here i have these other hair scissors that i used to cut my hair with but i don't need these anymore so i'm gonna put those in the giveaway guys this is literally such a size i literally had a whole pack and now they can actually fit in here so i'm gonna put them right here clips on top i'm gonna show you guys what i have left over to go through okay so things i have left are these bobby pins and stuff which 
I like to have bobby pins kind of on hand. So I gotta figure out where I wanna put that. And then this was just like a little bag that I had for travel with bobby pins and stuff. And then more rat tail cones so those can go in this drawer with the other one. I have these cute clips that I've been wanting to like incorporate some way somehow but I haven't yet so those can go in here too. I have some hair paint wax that I used once but just in case I want to switch it up again I'll put that in this miscellaneous one. I have my hair pick and this extra comb. This comb belongs in here. I just didn't see it and I was separating things out. This I use often, like whenever I do a braid out twist out, I use it. So I'm going to put this with my other comb. This right here, I'm so sick. It's the Tilia Wajid Styling Lotion, but it does not foam. Like when I click it, it doesn't foam. So this is honestly going in the giveaway pile. And then I have this small little sample of curl enhancing smooth. So honestly, this can go in my cream one. This is trash. This was TGIN hair mask, but it just is trash. And I have the big one right there, so don't need that and then i just have these two left i'm gonna put this one that i use for travel and the miscellaneous and then this one maybe on the side of my cream since that's the second drawer this is everything out and in their sections and this is my sadly small little giveaway pile it's hard to get rid of hair products and i know y'all probably can relate all right you guys so everything is in its designated drawer and I'm just going to show you guys like an overview. First drawer is oils and leave-in conditioners. It came out easily and it's going in easily, which is whew, what I need. Second drawer are creams. Oh my gosh, that came out so flawlessly. Woo! This one is edge controls and hair masks. This is just beautiful, guys. I don't think you understand. I've been struggling. This one is like shampoo and conditioners. Um, my plastic caps, my spray bottle, clips, everything like that. And this last one is like miscellaneous, literally anything creative that I wanted to do with my hair, it's in this drawer. And I did get this from Michaels when I, around the time I was doing my room transformation video because I was like, I need something to put my products in. I was like, they, they aren't even looking at my face. So personally, I'm okay with the five. I like it. It works for me. Um... But per, I think when I get my own place, I will get like a little storage thing for my hair product because I just love when people do that. And, um, you know, hopefully one day if I have sponsorships, I will want them displayed, hunty. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. It took me about 30 to 35 minutes. Honestly, taking everything out, cleaning, that's just the easiest way to do it, honestly. My preference. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know because I do want to organize under my cabinet and my bathroom sink as you guys saw earlier it's a mess and I really want to go out and get like cute containers and storage containers from Target to do so so if you guys want that let me know below and before I forget I wanted to announce the giveaway winner shout out to Aslia Prom I did like a random comment generator and she won so thank you so much for your support and everyone else's support and who entered the giveaway I will do another one at 1k subscribers so let's get there um i think we're at 5 35 right now so yeah i'm really excited for the growth i love ma making content for you all and i just appreciate the support so much so yeah thanks for watching today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and you already know t gang out bye y'all